Welcome to another episode of Bodyweight Training by SPT. Today we are going to use either TRX or rings for the workouts. It's going to be a sailing workout that's focused for trapeze and trimming based athletes that require a lot of upper body muscle endurance and strength. We'll do three five round for time efforts. You can break these up as individual workouts on their own or complete all of them together. Let's start with the TRX ring sailing workout number one. Five rounds for time. So be 10 ring rows and 10 sit-ups. Focusing on muscle endurance, good stability of the shoulders, and good core tension throughout the sit-ups. You will rest one minute after these five rounds before the next workout. Start with the first movement demo of ring rows. We're gonna use rings, TRX, or you can even use trap lines. You're gonna start the movement from the bottom position, keeping your shoulders retracted and back, and then raising yourself up, keeping as straight as possible with your core and your hips to where those rings touch your chest or the side of your body. You can start more horizontally or more vertically depending on your skill and strength. The more vertical you go, the easier it will be. As a scale for ring rows, we are gonna use a band, a resistance band attached to a rig, and you will do the same motion just from a standing position. You can increase reps for this movement, or you can also slow down the movement and you will get the same amount of. And the partner movement for this workout will be sit-ups, starting with our shoulders on the ground, raising our torso all the way up to where our shoulders are past the vertical line of your hips. Here we go, starting on the rings in three, two, one, and go. 10 ring rows, 10 sit-ups for five rounds.
pause the video if you are still working, and then make sure you add a minute rest between these workouts. The next one will be five rounds for time, 10 reps of plank running, that's five on each side, with feet in the rings, just to make it that much more difficult, and then 20 reps of leg flutters. You're gonna do 10 reps per side, so alternating legs. Movement demo for plank running. We are gonna do this with the feet in the rings, keeping that plank position with our shoulders just in front of our wrists and nice strong core. You're gonna raise each leg as high as you can. Remember, five reps per side, alternating 10 reps total. As a scale, just complete the plank running, same movement, just without the rings. The paired movement in this workout is gonna be leg flutters. So you can be in a supportive position with your hands underneath your glutes or overhead. Try to keep those flutters as tight and controlled, compact as possible. Here we go, starting in three, two, one, and go. 10 plank running with feet in the rings, five each side, then 20 leg flutters, 10 each side. Pause the video if you are still working to complete those five rounds. Now we're going into the third TRX ring sailing workout of the day, and this will be the last one. Five rounds for time, 10 ring push-ups. As a scale, we can just do push-ups without the rings, and then 20 bicycle crunches. And that's gonna be 10 each side, all together. Here's the movement demo for ring push-ups. 
with the instability of the rings, you will have to keep the control and the rings close to the body. Keep your arms close to the body. Press down into the bottom of a push-up where the rings touch the front of your shoulders and then press back up to the top. For a scale, we can do regular push-ups in starting from that plank position. Same principle applies, keep the core tight and press all the way down to where your chest touches the ground and back up. And if we need to scale further, we could go to kneeling push-ups. The paired core movement for this last and final workout is gonna be bicycle crunches. So you're gonna to touch the opposite elbow to opposite knee. Make sure you really try to touch the opposite elbow to the opposite knee and you can increase the speed of that cycle as you feel you are able to. Very good, here we go in three, two, one, and go. 10 ring push-ups, 20 bicycle crunches, 10 per leg.
everybody. So today's workout added in an element that we haven't seen before in our sailing performance training workouts, uh, which, which was an element of the rings here. So adding in the rings, the rings are by nature just unstable. So they move back and forth as you're doing the movements. So this challenges your body. So really every movement that you do on the rings is just that much more challenging. So when you do those movements, you get fatigued muscularly. So during this workout, I never necessarily got super out of breath. So when I stopped, it was because my muscles were tired and needed a break before I was able to continue doing the movements, especially on the ring push-ups. Those ones seemed to get me particularly bad. Uh, but these movements were, were definitely challenging muscularly, not necessarily aerobically, uh, but definitely got a good workout in today with these, these rings and the other core elements that we did on the mat.